everyone from me brent graham welcome to the stage 20 betting preview of the tour de france well we're nearly in paris now and i've got to say i'm absolutely limping in onto the champs elysees it's been a tough old tour from a betting point of view a couple of highlights but a lot of close misses uh, some decent reads on stages but i just haven't been able to catch it right well done bookmakers you've certainly got the better of me this time around before we get into stage 18 a reminder that you can log on to goodforthegame.co.za for all of your sports betting previews right let's get into the classifications as they happened in stage 19. i did say that this would be a breakaway we looked to oppose cavendish and in fact i had a couple of men in the break but uh yeah unfortunately it didn't work out for them uh, mate morovic uh, another solo breakaway from the break and uh, he came in comfortably 58 seconds ahead of Christophe Laporte and uh, Kasper Pedersen uh, for, completed the podium. Looking down from our picks, I had the two men, Anthony Turgis and uh, Jasper Staven in the break, but neither of them unfortunately could deliver. It was a strange old uh, stage. Uh, break went away early, then there was a bit of a crash and uh, Tadej Pogacar appeared to uh, behave a little bit almost Lance Armstrong-like, wouldn't let a few guys attack at that point to go across to the break. And uh, yeah, it looked like quite a weak break was going to go and that was going to be it. But then there were counter attacks and we ended up having a very exciting stage. Much like this Tour de France has been very unpredictable, I must say. And that has been good because at the end of the day, let's face it, the GC battle has been quite boring because we've had such a dominant uh, Pogaccia that, you know, if we're really honest about it, that the race is already won uh, when they entered the Alps. So there really hasn't been that much to cheer about. Anyway, that was the stage. I'm not going to worry about the classifications. The only one that's got a little bit of doubt about it is the green jersey. But there, Cavendish should wrap things up comfortably on Sunday on the Champs Elysees. Let's have a look at, at stage 20. It's a time trial. You had time trials at the end of tours. It's a bit of a gamble the organizers take, in my opinion, because, you know, this one at the end of the day, uh, there's nothing on the classifications really here that we, we're going to have a look at. So it's really just going to be the time trial itself. Um, Last year, it was completely the opposite. My kids have got a photo of me standing at the TV shouting Pogaccia home as he as he ended up coming from behind to, to beat Rodjdik in that incredible time trial. But uh, yeah, this, this this time trial later on today, well, it's, it's pan flat at 30.8 kilometers. And this really is one for your time trial specialist, your powerhouses. And we'll have a look at the betting. And now I'm going to go on to World Sports Betting. Just a reminder that World Sports Betting they still got their promotion. So if you uh, back the uh, rider and he finishes second, you can get your money back as a free bet. So I'm going to go with him this week, even though I can get a slightly bigger price on my first selection. But let's have a look at the betting. Won't find out 15 to 10. He uh, certainly has ridden himself into good condition. Remember, he had an appendicitis uh, operation just before the tour. So he wasn't quite at his sharpest in the first week. He has looked good, but my word, the guys also had a big workload on him. And uh, he is the 15 to 10 favorite. And the man who, who was second to Pogaccia in the first time trial, Stefan Kung, he's still waiting for the big win. He's the 9-4 to four second favorite there. Pogaccia is 33-10. to 10. If he puts his mind to it, he can probably win this. But you'd think now his focus might be uh, shifting to just getting into Paris and then going on to his next goal, which I think will be the Olympics. So, uh, yeah, he's, he's also obviously worked hard over the last week. Uh, so, yeah, I, I would say that I'm not expecting him to win the, this time trial. Not that he doesn't have the ability by any means. This is hard to know what to make of him. He went down quite hard the other day. He's been generally of the EF riders falling off first in the mountains. But he could also have been saving himself for this. He's certainly got plenty of speed. Kasper Asgreen, he actually backed in stage five time trial. Uh, he rode a very good time trial, but it wasn't quite uh, good enough for the win there. Jonas Vingard as well. How, how much is three weeks of racing taken out of this man? He did do an excellent time trial as well early on. And we go down another couple of guys who've had to work hard in the last week is Mikael Berg and Brendan McNulty, obviously from Team UAE. Magnus Court Nielsen is decent, but I'm not going to go any further than that. I'll keep it short and sweet today. Let's have a look at my bet. I'm going Stefan Kung. I'm going with him at nine to four at world sports betting money back for second place you can get slightly bigger prices elsewhere but for me i want that insurance of second because i'll be very surprised if kung does not run in the, the top two there are not many guys in my opinion that can win this time trial in the, this field thanks everyone we'll be back for the final stage the champs elysee it's going to be hard to tip against anyone other than the man wearing the green jersey i can tell you but anyway we'll see you for that one thanks for joining us and do remember to subscribe to our channel and uh, give us a like if you enjoy the videos. Thanks, everyone.